Hi everyone, uh, welcome to Informatica support videos. Uh, this is Purushottam Nayak and we are going to discuss uh, how to generate license information file for uh, uh, Informatica Identities Resolution or IIR. So the agenda for today's uh, session is we will discuss uh, what is license information file, why do we need it and how to generate it. Uh, license information file. Uh, so before you install Informatica identity resolution you need a license file which must be registered with the license server by copying this license file into the uh, parent directory slash licenses directory. So this license file uh, which we use during installation it contains uh, particular uh, the detailed information uh, on on a particular machine or a class of machine. So in order to create a license file uh, we use a utility called SSALI info and uh, run on the machine where the software needs to be installed or we run it on the server machine where IIR servers needs to run. So uh, the license information file uh, which we are trying to generate here it contains various information regarding the target machine uh, such as the operating system, the number of CPUs, the host ID uh, etc. So what to do with this license information file? Once this license information file is generated, uh, you need to send it to Informatica technical support team and the technical support representative will generate the license file based on these informations you have sent and send you back the license file which you can use to install various, various components of Informatica identity resolution. So uh, let's have a quick demo and uh, see um, how to generate this file and look into this file what are the various information content inside this file. So uh, there are uh, various ways to generate the license information file. Uh, the easiest way is to uh, run the installer and generate the license information file. So as you can see I have browsed to the installation package uh, which you have downloaded uh, from my support or from uh, uh, informatica shipping team you have got the installer so go to the install.exe uh, run the installer so once you run the installer you can see uh, this uh, radio button generate license information file uh, so click on this and click next so give a give any path where you want this uh, file to be generated so i'm giving a path so this is giving you a detail what you are trying to do and just click on create so this has created the license information file so if i browse to the directory i can see it so as you can see uh, this has generated the license information file this file needs to be sent to Informatica uh, technical support for you to get the new license file. Uh, now uh, let's see if you do not want uh, to run the installer or how you can run it through command line. So, so to run it through command line uh, you need to browse to the installer directory and bin. So open, browse to this from a command prompt. As you can see, I browsed till the bin directory. Now run the command SSALI info and redirect it to some path where you want this file to be generated. Okay. So um, 
I'm running the command SSLI info and I'm redirecting the output to create this license file. And as you can see, this have this has created the license information file. So here is the license information file created. So the same process uh, goes for um, non-Windows environment as well, like uh, Linux or Solaris. So um, I will I, we will just have a quick look on that as well. So uh, to generate uh, the license information file on a non-Windows environment, uh, you need to browse to the uh, installer bin directory. Uh, so we are in the bin directory. So uh, from here, we need to run the SSLI info command. I'm redirecting it to the home directory. So if I go to home, I can see this file generated. So as you can see, this file is generated. So let's have a quick look on what this file contains. Uh, Right. So here you can see uh, this file contains uh, the system uh, details like uh, Linux and the node name, the release, the machine, the machine architecture, the host name, host ID, number of CPU, CPU speed, MAC address, uh, and other details. So uh, it is always strictly recommended uh, not to change anything in this file once it is generated because if we change anything manually then uh, the checksum may change and the license file generated may not work or may be corrupted so this is all about uh, the license information file and you can find some related knowledge based articles uh, for example this one and uh, yes we would love to hear from you uh, and you can give us your valuable feedback on support videos at informatica.com or you can tweet us at twitter.com slash infosupport. Thank you for watching this video.